Hey everybody, it's me, Diogen Z. Welcome to this week's edition of Pokemon of the Week, where here on Planet Poke, we show you how to raise some masterful metagame Pokemon for your team. This week, we're gonna hit strong and hard with a shocking thunder punch! <laughs> Electivire. Electivire is one of my favorites of the metagame. He was by far probably the best evolution in the fourth gen uh, of Pokemon that didn't have an evolution. Let me just specify because I'm going to get a lot of angry comments saying, What about Garchomp? He was awesome. I understand. But of Pokemon that didn't have evolutions like Tangela, Magmar, and Electabuzz, Electivire is one of my favorites. Absolute. He is a king when it comes to sweeping. He only has one weakness, and that's ground. And the good thing? He can avoid that weakness if, in the preceding turn, you use Magnet Rise. Magnet Rise allows electric types to float, basically levitate, for five turns. So, you get levitation going, you throw out Electivire, it's untouchable. It's untouchable with super effective moves. Now that's not to say, that's not to say that it can't be one hit KO'd. If you come across an opponent who has been boosting their attack or boosting their special attack all couple of turns long, uh, again, the, the fault of a sweeper is that they don't have any defense. So you could be knocked out. But the nice thing is, you really don't have to worry about being smacked down with super effective moves. Uh, nature on this guy, pretty obvious by looking at the stats. It's going to be adamant so that when you do your EV training, your effort value training, you will be raising attack and speed. Uh, a thing with Electivire speed, it's... We're still rolling, hold on. Now, the thing with Electivire speed uh, is that it's it's 95 base. It's, you know, it's reasonable. It could probably outrun a good amount of Pokemon with the effort values you invest into it. But it does need a speed boost. And it doesn't have the speed boost ability available to it. So what you need to attach to it is Motor Drive. Motor Drive is one of my favorite bait-and-switch tactics. Listen to this devious move, or ability, I should say, and, and tactics that you need to do with switching. Uh, say you have a Gyarados out on the field. Ooh, Gyarados. You know you want to hit that thing with just a powerful Thunderbolt to knock it out in one shot, right? Well, right when your opponent is about to launch an electric type, electric type attack, and you got to use a little bit of prediction here. You got to know who you're up against. You got to kind of have some background information in your mind as to what moves your opponent's Pokemon can learn. Because when you can anticipate an electric move, you suck back Gyarados and you go, Wah! Electivire! And it gets hit with the electric type move. You want to know what happens when that occurs? Its speed gets powered up. That's right. The motor drive ability allows it to get a speed boost every time it's hit with an electric attack. And as soon as it is walloped with a thunder or a thunderbolt or a shockwave or whatever, it's ready to unleash havoc. Look at the effort values I invest in this and picture this. Picture the massive power you have with 123 base of attack. You're maxing out that effort value stat. You're maxing out speed so that you're already having a running start before your motor drive even activates. And then you hit him with an onslaught of super effective moves. And since you're going to mainly focus on Electivire's super effective smiting capabilities, which when I reveal the moves, I mean, it's, it's amazing the uh, vast range of type advantages it has. Uh, with this move pool. But as far as the item goes, I want to attach an expert belt to it because that increases super effective moves. So as if super effective moves weren't already powerful enough, you get an extra, extra boost from the expert belt that you hold on your Electivire. 
moves I had on my Electivire when I used to battle with it back in the 4th gen was Thunder Punch, Ice Punch, Cross Chop, and Earthquake. Uh, now, my Electivire came from Pokemon Battle Revolution. Uh, eventually, I will do something of that on this channel, but not for a while. I'm probably going to do something better before that, a more interesting game. But besides that, uh, Electivire can be found in Pokemon Battle Revolution when you beat the main game and you go back to the shop, you can unlock it and then send it from your Wii over to your DS onto Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, Heart Gold, or Soul Silver. Not black and white, so if that's all you have, unfortunately you're going to miss out on this Electivire. But this is the easiest, far easiest way to get the correct Electivire that you need. Um, because, honestly, it's really sometimes a pain in the buttocks to sit around the nursery all the time and keep hatching eggs. I mean, I don't know about you, but I've got a life to live and I can't spend it just going on the D-pad back and forth, going on the bike route, hoping some eggs hatch into the right nature. This thing comes preloaded with the moves that you absolutely need, and it's beautiful. Now, some additional moves, usually I don't mention them, I say go to the site to check them out, but I want to bring them up here. Uh, additional moves, since Ice Punch and Brick Break and Earthquake and all those things are not stab moves, meaning that since it's not the same type of a move as Electivire is, Electric type, it's not going to get a boost. Uh, so then, you really want to focus on what your team is lacking. In the case of my team, I needed a strong Ice-type move. I didn't really have any Ice-type Pokémon. I didn't want the vulnerability to fire and rock and fighting and steel and all that goodness. Uh, so I just said, Electivire, I'm going to have Ice Punch. But it can also learn Thunder Punch. It can also learn Iron Tail. And these are extremely strong moves when it comes to physical attacking. So it depends on your team. Uh, analyze your team really well. Uh, decide for yourself what kind of moves you need to supplement with Electivire. But this is a super strong sweeper. I mean, blows people out of the water because, you know, you don't automatically assume everyone has an Electivire. You really don't. But it does such an effective job at trapping your opponent to give you a speed boost. It's even better than just negating the effect of, say, a ground-type move by switching to a flying Pokémon, it's even better than that, because you're negating their move and you're boosting your own stats so you can come back and SUPER ATTACK! Electivire is one of my favorites, and that does it for Pokémon of the Week. Let me know in the comments below, have you ever raised an Electivire before? Have you had the same success rate as I am saying on this episode today. Let me know. Remember guys to subscribe to the Planet Poke full of Pokemaniacs like myself giving out useful tips, strategies, information, walkthroughs, card openings, you name it, anything Pokemon, we've got it. Check it out. I'm DiogenZ guys and I'll see you next week.